Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a collective pick a card for what strange things are around you. I'm using the Stranger Things tarot deck. I absolutely love it. I have no idea what the cards say. I just pick them out face down. So I'm going to be surprised with you as well. So this is pile one. This is pile two and this is pile three. Take a deep breath. Choose the pile you're drawn to the most. And we are going to talk about what strange things are around you right now. This is a timeless reading. So keep that in mind. And we're going to get started with pile number one. Hey pal one, this is your reading. I am going to read completely intuitive. I am not reading the description of the cards, so just keep that in mind. This is going to be a fun reading. If it doesn't resonate, choose a different pile or don't take the message because it's collective. For a personal reading, moonlightshadows1111 at gmail.com. So let's get started, pal one. What strange things are around you? I feel like you have spirits coming to visit you. I'm also getting that when you are asleep, you travel to the in-between because with the full card, I am seeing that. It's like you travel to spiritual realms. You can travel to different dimensions. With the Knight of Strands, I feel like the strange thing that happens to you is that people are always admiring you. People always have a beautiful memory of you. It's like you leave from visiting a friend or from a workplace and there's always that guy or that girl that is like smiling at the thought of you. Like you leave a beautiful memory in someone's mind after you have been present or after you've been around you leave people with beautiful thoughts of you and that's kind of something that you think is strange like that's so weird like why do people like me so much it's kind of like the energy that I'm getting but you vibrate off of your root chakra and solar plexus and sacral chakra so your bottom three chakras which are associated with relationships whether that's passionate or intimate people are naturally drawn to you like a moth to a flame but I'm also getting you have spirits or the spirit of a child could be around you with the first card, I'm seeing that there are spirits or some of you might say ghosts, but I say spirits, but I feel like there are spirits who come towards you because you have a very nurturing energy because you can connect to a spiritual realm. I'm seeing some of you may have connected to a portal, not everybody, but that's like a strange thing that could happen for some of you. You're very connected to a portal and these energies like you. So they are around you, pal one. The next thing that I have here is the seven of spokes. I feel like with the seven of spokes, the strange thing that's around you, I'm getting people are surprised that you're doing so well. And you're kind of like, why is that strange? But it's more like they think it's strange that you're doing well. But I'm also getting people are proud of you. And you think it's kind of weird. It's like, why are you proud of me? You're like my same age. You know, it's like you inspire people, pal one. I'm really getting that. I'm also getting you have a beautiful Venusian energy. So you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus is what I'm getting. But people are just... They're really in awe about you and you think it's strange, but it's not really a strange thing. It's actually a beautiful thing to be proud of. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. It's like people feel your energy. I'm also getting a strange thing for you is that you can pick up on different energies and it might be new to you or just might feel a little unreal. Sometimes you're so surprised at how in tune you are and you think it's strange, but I don't really feel anything negative here, Pal One. I have anything I feel like you are stepping into your power more and you're slowly connecting more to being in tune with your spiritual gifts. So that's a beautiful thing. I'm also getting, um, I don't know why I'm getting, there's like a pizza guy who likes you, pal one, or you used to work at a pizza place because the pizza is really like standing out to me here. <laughs> but I feel like maybe you went to order pizza or the guy thought you were cute or girl, vice versa. I don't know, but I feel like someone was attracted to you there. Um, and you left like a really good, like, mark on this person like they're just like wow pow one he's cute or she's cute like you know like i'm getting like pow one's awesome like they really like you <laughs> but i'm also getting if you work with someone they like you as a co-worker or they like the advice that you give or they just like being around you you have beautiful energy pow one you are a beautiful person guy girl whatever you are you are amazing so that's what i have for you let me know if that resonates please like and subscribe comment down below if you want to see a different type of pick a card with my stranger things tarot which i absolutely love thank you so much and we're gonna get started with pile number two hey pile two if you chose this pile what strange thing is around you i feel like you have a famous person around you who loves you however the strange thing about this is that this famous person has already passed away with the Ten of Scoops, to me, is the Ten of Cups. And the Ace of Spokes is the Ace of Wands. But there's a heart in the center. For some of you, this person could have passed away from an accident. Because I'm hearing accident, car crash. Something unexpected. 
but I'm also getting you have a connection to this person because maybe you knew them in a past life, but you were not reincarnated in the same time frame. It's like this person watches you with these two ice cream cones here. And with the Ace of Wands, it's like they reincarnated in a different timeline. So they're kind of just waiting to see if they'll reincarnate with you again because this person genuinely has something to say to you with the Page of Wands here. The strange thing is that this person is always watching you and you may feel their energy, but you kind of brush it off. But in case you've been wondering, like, is this really happening? Like, is someone who passed away that was super famous still around me? Like, is Kurt Cobain really connecting with me? Is Elvis Presley around me? Like, is someone from the 27 Club here? Yes. I feel for some of you, because it's not for everybody. So if you're watching this and you're like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Moonlight Shadows, then this is not for you. But this is for somebody out there. The month of May can be very significant. Or that was the time when you really started to connect with this person's energy. But the strange thing is, is that you have a famous, popular person who is some type of artist or creative somehow, some way that is connecting to you. And they are around you because they want you to have more fun in your life. You're very serious. They want you to bring more of a playful kind of, I don't want to say reckless or careless, but they want you to have fun. Live your life. Live a little is what I'm hearing. I'm also getting they are from different eras, obviously, especially because I mentioned the 27 Club, because I feel like with the first card, it looks like he's wearing like a sailor outfit. And then with the last card with the page of dice, it's like he's wearing like a back to the future type of thing. So it's like you may connect with this person energetically or in your dreams. If you do a meditation, you can connect with them. You can go back to the future because you lived your life with this person in a past life. But you don't remember pile two. And that's a strange thing that's going on. Because with the Ace of Spokes, I'm seeing this more like the Wheel of Fortune, but it's more like Akashic Records. It's like the time has run out when you were with this person in a past life. And then when they reincarnated, if they are a part of the 27 Club, you were not reincarnated with them. You are reincarnated now. But for some reason, you're very drawn to them because, yes, now they're your spirit guide. But I'm also getting you connect with them or you feel so drawn to them because you had a past life and you don't understand it. And you're kind of questioning, like, am I going crazy? Is this real? No, you're not crazy. This is very much real. And this person still genuinely cares for you because he's holding two ice cream cones here. One of them is yours. He has love for you. This masculine energy that I am picking up on. It could be a guy or a girl. It doesn't matter. But the energy that this person feels towards you is very strong. And they do love you from the other side. You are also clairaudient because I heard a horn in the distance. So you might be hearing car alarms or ringing or sounds. That is a message from them that they are definitely around you. And no, you're not going crazy. This person is definitely connected to you somehow, some way. And they are meant to bring happiness, joy, and laughter into your life. So that is a strange thing that is around you, Pile 2. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to see a different pick a card with my Stranger Things tarot. And thank you so much for the person who donated this to me. I absolutely love it. Um, it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And I appreciate you buying this for me. And we're going to get started with pile number three. Pile three, you guys never stop amazing me. <laughs> pile three, the strange thing about you is that you are mediums. The ace of strands with the lights, the page of strands with more lights, and then the death card with literally a skeleton in the water reaching out up to the person sitting here. If you've seen Stranger Things with the lights, you know that's how they communicate with the other dimension. Spoiler alert. Sorry, guys. But anyways, <laughs> I feel like most of you guys are aware of that. Pile three, the strange thing around you, you have the spirits of the dead wanting to contact you. You could be a Scorpio. You can connect with Santa Muerte or you could just connect with darker energies. I'm also getting... Um, oh... Okay, so strong message for some some of you, not all of you, Pal 3. If you are connecting with very... Okay, so this is not for everybody. So please do not be scared. If you are not doing this, that does not mean it is happening. Okay, this is only for some people, like very small amount. It's not going to be everybody. I'm getting if you were trying to contact a demon, that demon is contacting you now. I'm also getting if you feel like a demon is wanting to contact you and you're not sure... The answer is yes, 111, as I'm recording this mini clip for my overall video. But I'm feeling here, if you reached out, because with the center of the page of strands, I feel like that's you. Kind of like, hey, I need some help. I want to learn how to connect with you. I hope I'm connecting with you. Or I'm trying to connect with you. Are you hearing me? Because she looks like she's got a little microphone in her hand. 
And with the Ace of Strands, which is the Ace of... I think that's the Ace of Swords, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I feel like the answer is yes, because that light, I feel like yes. And then the Death card, reaching from the depths, from the abyss. 13 is significant. It's also death, which is, you know, Scorpio, but communicating to the spirits of the dead. Um, this could be a glacial spirit. This could be a fallen angel. This could be a demon. This could be an ancient one. This could be some type of spiritual, darker energy. If you're like, I don't talk to deities or anything like that. Well, then this is not your reading, but this is specific for somebody because it's general and it is timeless. I just burped. So I feel like there's like a release of energy of somebody out there finally feeling relieved over the fact that this is confirmation for them. That if you've been trying to reach out to a demon or Goetia spirit or Lilith is what I'm hearing. The answer is yes, she has heard you. They have heard you. Whoever you reached out, there are many, but there is one in particular that you have connected to and they are definitely still around. And if you didn't have anybody around and you just started reaching out, then yes, they have heard you. Because with the Page of Strands, I feel like this is you, Pal 3. You're not scared, though. If this is your message, you're going to be very excited. You're going to be very happy. You're going to be very surprised. It's like mixed emotions, but it's a happy energy. Because this, this type of spiritual energy that you're connecting with, it is not negative towards you. It is otherworldly. It is very powerful. The 303, it has accepted you to work with them. So if you were asking, can I work with you? goddess Hecate, Santa Muerte, Lilith, Andromalias, or any other energy that is strong and powerful and more associated with the darker um, like energy or path, I feel like it has accepted you. It says, yes, you can work with me. Yes, I have heard you. Yes, I am here. So you're going to be very happy about that. Angel number 333, this energy is here to protect you, to surround yourself with the energy of love. It is divine timing. It is meant to happen. There are three birds right now, and one of them is a hawk. That is freaking awesome. Some of you guys, it is Hecate. Wow. That's beautiful. I also heard Inanna or Ishtar for some of you, not all. I also heard Furfur, which is another Goetia spirit, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe that spirit is associated with love, like Citri. I could be wrong. I'm still learning about them because I am reading, I am reading and researching more. But those are the ones that are coming up. I'm also hearing Dontalian. I heard Sekhmet and Kali. So there's a lot of energies that are very dark. I got goosebumps when I said Sekhmet and Kali. So some of you guys are connecting with that energy. But if you're wondering, did you hear me? Yes. You will be receiving a sign. And this reading is just confirmation that what you are experiencing are definitely signs from them. I'm also getting Lilith very strongly. Lilith likes to tap for me. She makes tapping noises. I just heard a tapping sound um, to the right side of me. So I feel like Lilith is also here. Thank you, Lilith, 444 angel number. So she will help you as well for those of you who resonate with that message. But it's just saying there is a darker energy connecting with you and it wants you to know that yes you have made that connection so that is a strange thing that's going on with you pile three but i don't feel that you should be afraid you should be honored and you should be very happy if that is your intention if you're not doing any of that then this is not your reading and it does not apply to you okay but for whoever i'm reading pile three yes you have made that connection yes they have heard you and yes they have accepted you to work with them so you should be very proud very excited the candle work the offering the water whatever you're doing pile three um I heard ceremonial magic or the ceremony, the ritual, the candle work. The way I just heard like that really loud noise, you've made contact and they're trying to let you know that yes, okay? So the energy is very strong, so do not be afraid because it is going to be very intense. Um, just make sure that you are grounding yourself and they are not going to harm you. They're trying to communicate, okay? So that's what I have for you. A big transformation. That's a very strange thing going on, but you are spiritually leveling up, so congratulations. So that's what I have for you, Pal 3. Let me know if that resonates or if you want to see a different pick a card with the Stranger Things tarot. And thank you so much to the person who gifted this to me. It means a lot. And I send you all many blessings. Bye, guys.